For this evening, we got a 27 foot Boston Whaler, ran ground out by New Pass. Not exactly sure where he is. Dispatcher said he was by New Pass, but I guess he hit the bar going about 25 knots or so, so he's probably pretty stuck. But we'll see when we get over there and see what we can do for him. May have been better off trying to get to him from the other side, but we'll see. <clears throat> oh, I'm showing about 2.8 going through here right now. So if I can get him off into this area, he should be okay. But I know it's going to get really shallow as I get close to him. I am not getting in the water, so that doesn't help either. I don't know if you guys have seen the videos where I'll walk out a few hundred yards to the boat. But that's when the water's a little bit warmer right now. It's showing 63 degrees. And I've got boots and pants on, so that's definitely not happening. There's like pockets of deep water here. I keep going between two and three feet. We'll see what I can do. I'm hoping I can get close enough that I can tie to his boat so I don't have to rely on them tying off. As you guys know, I absolutely hate that. One and a half feet. I don't think we make it. Come on, boot. I can't, can't make it. I can't get any closer. Okay. <sighs> what was that? Well, you're kind of right in the middle, so I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get to you from any direction. Take a look at what we got for a tide.
What do we get for tattoos? We're at point, positive point nine right now. High tide. We're gonna get another foot at eleven o'clock tonight. It is currently six thirty. Yeah, I'm sure they'll enjoy sitting out here for another four and a half hours. Yeah, chart on here. Take a picture for you guys. So, that chart's not all that helpful. I'll look at Navionics. That has nothing more useful. He's sitting so shallow, it's just showing green. Let's see what else we can do. How long can I spend trying to get to him? <laughs> I, I can try from a couple different angles, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get close to him from any angle. If I can just get to him from this side, I think I can make it back to the channel. You know, we're gonna have to drag him through even shallower water than the other way. I think I'll have enough tow line to make it from that side. Problem is, I just don't think I can make it to him. You saw in that picture I put up earlier from the chart, he's basically just sitting in the middle of that green bar which if you look at your chart tells you it's really shallow I don't know if you can hear them they're all laughing now but if I can't get to them they're not going to be laughing tell them I gotta wait five hours till the high tide I'm thinking you're going to have to wait till high tide. What was that? What did you say? 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Yep. What was that? I can't hear you. Here, I'm going to call you. He's definitely waiting to high tide. Okay. Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, I got you. Yeah. So, I can't get e even close to you to uh, get a line to you. So, we're going to have to just wait yeah. till high tide. Okay. Uh, what, uh, what do I do? Just stay with the boat or what? I mean, yeah, I can't get to you, so I can't even get you guys off of there. Well, you can't get us off. Oh, crap. Yeah, I can't get to you. If I could get to you, I could pull you off, but I can't even make it to you. I got, I got four women and myself. 
somehow we need to get off here so we can get to the house there on Bird Key. Well, if one of you... you How? I can't get to you. You have some way, something that could come get us? We don't. No, you're just too shallow. You're less than a foot of water. Do you have a little dinghy or something to get to it? I don't know. So you're saying we got to stay out here? Pretty much. Unless one of you wants to walk out here and tie my tow line to your boat and I can try pulling you off. You got a pretty heavy tow line or what? Yeah. It'll, it'll get you off if okay. we can tie it on. Okay. You got a long enough one? Yeah, I've got two of them, so we should have enough. Okay, let me get off here and get to you then. Okay. I will sit right here. Okay. Okay. Right. Bye. Hey, so uh, told him he's going to have to sit out here till 11 o'clock, and he thought I could come get them off somehow. Think you'll be able to get them off? I think so. Basically, tie whatever best knot you can that's not going to come undone. What again? Tie whatever knot you can that's not going to come undone. The best place to tie is going to be to the uh, trailer eye underneath your bow. Uh, yep. Well, that's the thing. It's, I'm as far as I can get, so that's why I can't even make it to you. I'm on the bottom right now. What was that? The water's been so yeah. This will float all the way, so just grab the end and walk it out. <laughs> yep. Got about 600 feet of line, so we should be able to get back to deeper water. No, nope, it's all sand. You'll be fine. Yep, keep them up. And once you get ev once you get tied off, just have everyone kind of take a seat and grab a good handhold. Uh, kind of spread the weight out. That was all she wrote for tow line. So. What I've got out is what I've got. Let's see what we can do with it. Got a whole bunch still out in the water. That one. And four and a half feet now. I think we're good. Question is, does this boat have the power to pull it off? And to put these new inline Suzuki four strokes on it. Of course, I should rephrase that. Four stroke Suzuki four strokes, four cylinder inline. I don't know, I'm tired. They're Suzuki engines, they're four cylinder, and they're an inline four cylinder. Yeah, around. One eternity later. Hello? Hey, you guys all set? No, he is still trying to get in the boat. Okay, give me a call back when he's on board. Do we have, okay, thanks. Yep, bye. I don't remember if I finished my thought from earlier. 
we got the new Suzuki inline four cylinders. See, now I can say it. Uh, the way this boat's propped uh, is more for pulling power than speed. So it should, even with only 400 horsepower, pull the same or better than the ProCat did with the twin 600 or twin 300 Suzukis. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Yeah, there's people that call again and see if he's actually on board yet. Hello. You all set? Yeah, we're all set. Okay. Get a good seat and take a good handhold because I think we'll be able to get you off. Base gonna run straight across the channel here. Hopefully, no one comes and runs it through my tow line. Uh, I'm not stopping until he gets to deeper water. Now you gotta pull on the 600 feet of tow line. I'm about to get stuck on this side of the channel. Shit, we got a boat coming through. You're all clear. Yep, you're good. Thank you. Well, you're not held. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Let's see if we can get it undone now. Yeah, you need to slide back a little bit more. We'll see. 
Yeah, you can hold on to the fender there. You guys don't have to wait around it out there for another five hours. <laughs> that was a workout. Well, if you guys see this video, thanks for watching. If not, you probably don't because it's so dark you may not see anything, but whatever. Let's see you on the next one.